on the 29th of May, we had a lot of people out riding horses. Uh, that was a nice Sunday afternoon. And uh, a thunderstorm kind of crept up on us. Um, it came north to south, which seemed kind of odd. But uh, we were all ducking under cover and getting in the barn. And all of a sudden, we heard a, a really loud bang coupled with uh, lightning at the exact same time. At the time, no one knew exactly where it was coming from. We just knew it was really close because you heard the, the thunder and the lightning flash at the exact same time. After some inspection after the storm, um, noticed that uh, one of our Dish Network Joeys had gone out. Um, the GFCI breaker in the master bedroom had tripped. The GFCI breaker in the kitchen had tripped. And uh, the cable modem wasn't working, nor was the router or anything of, of that nature. Placed a couple calls, went to go get a replacement cable modem, got Dish back out to replace it. Um, found that basically had a complete Ethernet failure inside the house. Um, everything and anything that was plugged into an Ethernet switch uh, fried, and the ports fried. Um, the Ethernet ports fried. Um, thought this was a little suspicious. So went uh, looking and um, found this tree. And on this tree, you can see that there's bark that has completely blown off the sides of it. I can't really see any burn mark where the lightning hit the tree itself, but at some point, I believe lightning hit this tree and uh, shattered the bark off the sides of it um, for large parts of it. Closer to the top where you see here in the video, it doesn't look that bad. I'm gonna head back down, curve around and go back up the other side, but as you head back down, you can see sections of the tree with bark missing and if you look close the tree itself is actually split just to the left of, of this over to the house is where um, my downstairs office is which contains basically all the electronics and this just goes to so you know I've had experience with this before that you can surge protect battery backup do everything under your control to try and protect against a lightning strike but those are only power surge lightning strikes. The power didn't actually go out. The lightning bolt just happened to hit so close that the, the static field around it fried all the ethernet components in the area and uh, the dish network box and the cable modem. So no power surge, no cable surge from the outside, no satellite surge from the outside, basically just the static field around it. And there's the bark missing from the side of the tree. So I've got VOIP phones that are damaged, um, VOIP boxes that are damaged, uh, a power over ethernet switch that got damaged, a, a regular switch that got damaged, um, LAN ports and printers, LAN ports and laptops. Um, there were two or three of those. Um, LAN port and a computer, just, I mean, you name it, anything that was happened to be wired up um, including network attached storage all got fried just from this lightning bolt that, that happened to hit so close to the house. It's not much you can do. Um, I've looked at this in, in phone lines before and, you know, I've put lightning arresters on inbound pots lines coming into houses, um, into offices, you know, surge protection on electrical coming in. But if the lightning hits on or near the building, there really is no amount of protection that you can provide for sensitive electronic equipment. So I took the drone out and went to take some shots of the trees. Of course, with the branches extending out, you can't get all that close to the tree. Um, but I thought maybe I'd look and see if there was evidence of where the bolt itself actually hit. And uh, upon a review of the video, I can't seem to find any where the lightning struck the tree just evidence that something hit it and uh, caused the bark to fly off because there's bark and branches all over the yard and we know that there was a very very close lightning strike at some point we just weren't sure where at the time and are fairly certain now especially given the evidence with the office and everything nearby that the lightning hit this tree and uh, the static discharge killed everything in the house. Thanks for watching.